such unique soil limits the plant community largely to specialists. Some specialists have devised extraordinary strategies to cope with the nutrient poor conditions. Few plants excited colonial botanists more than the carnivorous plants of the eastern North American bogs. A mere three inches tall, this sundew is equipped with a deadly trap for small, unsuspecting insects. Sticky fluid coats the tips of hair-like projections. Expecting an easy meal, insects land and become hopelessly ensnared. This one struggles only to become more imprisoned. The sundew, signaled by the vibration of the struggling insect, will fold its hand-shaped leaf around the body of the insect. When fully enshrouded, digestive juices reduce the insect to nutrients that are then absorbed by the plant. Another carnivorous species is the pitcher plant. Its leaf forms a watertight chamber that collects rainwater. This adaptation allows the pitcher plant to obtain the nutrients that it finds difficult to derive from the soils within the forest. Pitcher plants are a remarkable botanical trap armed with an array of attractions and snares for unsuspecting prey. Special scent glands attract insects with an enticing odor. The colorful lip of the pitcher invites the insects to investigate and risk a deadly fall. Down-facing hairs and a slippery wall provide little purchase. Unable to escape, they drown. Enzymes decay the corpse into nutrients that are absorbed by the plant. Like so many specialists of the pine barrens, pitcher plants are found along streams that flow seaward. <laughs> 